I don't really care what people think or what they believe. Um, that's kind of what it means to live in a free country. What matters, and this is where important distinctions need to be made, there are several kinds of truths out there. One of them, let, let's just call it an objective truths. And objective truths are things that can be established regardless of who's doing the experiment. So this, it is the nature of reality. Then there are things a person might call personal truths. And this is if you believe Jesus is your savior or Mohammed could move a mountain or, or you know, there are, your personal truths are things that you hold dear, perhaps, and you, are, you know they're true in your soul, but in order to get someone else to agree with you, you have to either brainwash them or convert them by force. And personal truths don't always agree with one another as you go around the world. And so, so again, I have no problems with anyone's personal truth. But if you now rise to power and you want to create laws and legislation, and if you now base them on your personal truths in a pluralistic society, such as Brazil, uh, multicultural, pluralistic, then that is the beginning of the end of a free society. It's the, it's the beginnings of a, of a theocracy or a or any government that is dogmatically established. E equals MC squared is true whether or not you believe in it, right? <laughs> That's, I've said that, I'm, a, I'm quoted as saying this, that science is true whether or not you believe in it. And what I mean, of course, is once science establishes a truth, an objective truth, it's not, it's not subject to anybody's opinion. I like the recent data that showed that we are kinder to one another, in spite of what the media reports. We are kinder to one another today, on average, than we've ever been as a civilization. As an example, consider the, the 80 or so deaths that occurred in the south of France when a bus drove through a crowd, a terrorist act. That made headlines around the world for several days. But 70 years ago, 70 years ago, is that right? 60, yeah, 70 few years ago, we were fighting the Second World War. And if you run the numbers on that, what you'll find is from 1939 to 1945, 1,000 humans were killed killed per hour of every hour of that war. Yet that alone was not making headlines. There was just this larger thing, we're fighting a war, and it's the noble fight good against evil, and our whole mindset was different. It's, we, we must do this for the better world, a thousand people per hour. So now we live in a world where 80 people die in one incident, and it's headlines around the world, that is as good an, as evidence as you will ever find that we live in a more peaceful world. So I, I have some optimism there that if this trend continues, maybe future news headlines will be a cat got caught in a tree <laughs> and that makes world news because that doesn't happen. If your beliefs have consequences in the physical universe, yes, we can test those. That's what science is. That's how it got invented. That's all it is. So if your God has no testable consequences in the physical universe, then I would ask, what is the role of God for you? Well, then, then you'd say it's deeply spiritual and personal. And then I'd say, okay, fine. <laughs> then I'd go out about trying to discover how the universe works.